All disgust and complete indifference. The lady doth protest too much. You know, I, get over yourself, okay? If you and Chloe want to play house, that's none of my business. My business is getting this product into stores for the holidays. Well, my feelings on that product fall somewhere between mild disgust and complete indifference. No. I'm what? saying no, I don't like it. Would you say no to the pillow? I'm saying no to the pillow, the complete Gabby Chic Home Collection, or whatever you call it. You, I'm not going to let you ruin this for me. You can, you can, you can whine and complain all you want. I'm the CEO. Okay? There's nothing you can do about it. I can call Shin. Yes, I can. I can call him right now and tell him. What are you doing? What are you going to do? Call Daddy every time I say no to you? No, just every time you're being a brat. Give that to no, me. No, no, are you God. serious? Give it to me. Did you grab my phone? You cracked it. You cracked my phone. Look at it right here. You cracked it. Yes, you did, you jerk. It was probably already like that. I did. Whoa. What are you doing? What are you going to do? Attack me with your ugly pillow? You know what? Maybe I'll just smother you instead. Is it hot in here or what? My God. You could cut the sexual tension in here with a knife. Oh, please. I hate this creep. He makes me sick. Keep saying that, but any moment two eyes can see how bad you want me. I want you to disappear. You, you see what's going on here, right? How she, she can't contain her desire, how desperate she is to be with me. You see it, right? Okay. <laughs> I recognize that. You used that heinous thing to cover up my private parts on Valentine's Day when you tied me up naked to the bed. Oh, no, that's a different one. I had yours burned. Wow, Gabby, when you said decorative pillow, I didn't quite know what you mean, but now I do. Thank you. Shut up, okay? Be careful with this one. She's not just kinky, she's twisted, too. Once she had me all trussed up, she came at me with a pair of scissors. What is it that you want, you little worm? I know that Sonny gave you the iron boot. Well, as I told the hottie guarding the front door, I think he said his name was Ben. I have some important business to discuss with you, Mr. Demira. so much for waiting. I figured I'd better put on some clothes if we were going to talk. Good call. So are you sure you can stay and don't have your kids or have to be at work or anything? You know what? A conversation is the least I could do since you almost took a bullet for me. Well, I would take on an entire army if it meant getting another plate full of those cookies. Oh, I'm glad you like them. So what's going on? And by the way, what is the secret ingredient with these things? Is it like vanilla or... Okay, Rex, what's bothering you? Okay, fine. So Brady was here, and he and Eric actually got into a pretty big fight. About what? A few things, but mainly about Nicole. Oh, no. What happened? Well, Eric brought her up, but Brady just took that ball and ran with it. Mm. I remember the bruises on their faces after their last fight. Please tell me there were no punches thrown. No, no punches, but it was... It was pretty heated. You see, apparently, Brady's not over the fact that Eric stole the woman that he loved. But more than that, Brady said that he hoped the same thing would never happen to me. Why did I leave the priesthood? 